Hello everyone, Lee here from Parrot Life, back again for another video in our series on environmental changes you can make to help reduce problem behaviours. Today our video is uh, focusing on enrichment. Um, so Jess is back here demonstrating a little bit of enrichment um, through foraging. So why is enrichment important to our parrots? Um, it's important to our parrots because primarily the number one reason is it improves welfare. But the other reason it's important and why we're talking about it today is because it provides your bird with activities to engage in that stimulate their brain and their body, uh, wear off some of that energy that they have, use, uh, encourage them to use natural species specific behaviors. And when they're doing these things, they're not doing those things that you don't want them to do. And they're less likely to do them when they're finished because they have now worn off some of that energy. Now foraging is commonly mixed up with enrichment. Foraging is a form of enrichment, but it isn't the only type of enrichment. So there are five categories of enrichment and within those categories, there are also subcategories. Today, I'm gonna to show you uh, a little bit, a little bit of a demo for each of those categories. So the first category of enrichment is social enrichment. This can include socializing with conspecifics, other animals within safe realms, people, um, including visitors, caretakers, trainers, and it can also include socializing with other things like plush toys, mirrors, and lookalikes. The second category of enrichment is cognitive enrichment. This includes mental stimulation such as training okay. sessions and novel experiences. So the third enrichment category is physical habitat. This includes access to things such as perching or climbing structures, different substrates, uh, refuges from potential threats, and climate gradients such as light temperature, humidity, and wind. Um, in here we can also include nest and den opportunities, although we do not recommend these for companion parrots who are not breeding. As you can see here, Maya's enjoying her outdoor aviary, which meets um, a, a large portion of that category just in and of itself. The fourth category of enrichment is sensory enrichment. This includes tactile enrichment, olfactory and taste enrichment, auditory enrichment and visual enrichment. So in this video you can see little Inca, the black-headed kayak, uh, getting a little bit of tactile enrichment from the sheets. And this is another great example of sensory enrichment, in this case visual. The final category is food enrichment or what we refer to as foraging. This includes novel food items for your animal as well as food presentations such as puzzle feeders, scatter feeding or hiding burying food in a variety of different places. Chester here and Maya coming up in a second are demonstrating um, a version of this. So they've got some of their daily pellets hidden in some gum nuts. This is a really fun way for them to interact with the gum nuts, which are healthy for them as a food source um, and also get a portion of their daily meals. So those are the five categories of enrichment that we can provide to our birds. Um, as you can imagine, the sky is really the limit with regards to what you can provide within those categories. Uh, so instead of spending 20 or 30 minutes today going through those different subcategories, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a, an enrichment challenge in our Facebook group. So um, in the next couple of days, we're going to release the first part of that enrichment challenge. And over the coming weeks, we're going to go through all of the different categories of enrichment with you and your birds and help you find things that are suitable for your individual bird and your species of bird within those categories. So come and join us for that. We're really, really looking forward to working with, on that with you. Have a great Sunday evening. 
And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, pop them down in the comments for us. See you later.